Gun Freak Nation. I'm really heated and pissed off. First and foremost, thank you for uh, tapping in. I love y'all, Gun Freak Nation. But I hate when I see my people victimized. Now, I had a, uh, got a phone call earlier today from one of my homeboys, man. One of my homeboys. One of my homeboys I've been telling for years to get armed. To go buy a gun to protect himself and protect his family, man. I mean, he ain't got no kids, but he got his woman. You know, he got his girlfriend. Man, uh, I'm so fucking pissed off right now. Got the phone call. Home invasion happened to him. And I'm fucking pissed off. The fuck off. These fucking savages. But not only am I mad at the savages, I'm mad at his ass. Because I had been telling him for years to go buy a gun. And not just to buy one, but train with it. <clears throat> it just pisses me off that I get the phone call and man, the way he said that shit went down. These fucking nasty ass savages. I'm just sick of this shit, man. Let me let me tell y'all something right now, goddamn it. Let me tell you something. How can you call yourself a man? A real man. And you ain't got no gun. Huh? How can you call yourself a real man. And you ain't got no gun. To protect your leg. Fuck your life. You supposed to be a man. To protect your wife. Or your woman. Girlfriend. Whatever. Your kids, if you have some. So, how can you call yourself a man? Now, I used to talk to my homeboy. My homeboy would be like, well, I'm man enough. I'm man enough. I don't need a gun. I got, I got these. I got these. That shit didn't do him no good. Man, he said, when they kicked that door in, it happened so fucking fast. He ain't even have a fucking chance, man. Damn. I'm just so sick of these damn fucking savages. What they did to him and what they did to his old lady, his woman. Man, they violated them on all levels. Do you hear me? Like I said, I'm mad at them funky ass savages, but I'm also mad at his ass. What's wrong with y'all? Thinking y'all don't need no gun. Thinking all you got to do is call 911 and the police going to be there like that. Y'all living in a motherfucking fantasy world if you think that shit go down like that. He said, them niggas, I mean, savages, kicked in his motherfucking dope. And before he could even get his phone out, they was on. Had the gun to his head. He said they told him to get down. Or lay down. He didn't have no choice. They put the gun up to his head. And he laid down. He thinking that, you know, uh, uh, they going to take the valuables and shit, which they did. They took his PlayStation 5. 
you know, they took his flat screen TV. But that, that was just the afterthought. Man, first and foremost, they, they kicked the shit out of him, stomped him, pistol whipped him. And the worst was yet to come. Man, they, they snatched this woman up, took her to a bad, bad room. That man had to lay there on the floor and hear his woman get brutally raped. The first savage grabbed her by the arm, took her to the back bedroom. He heard her clothes being ripped off. Then, you know, 20 minutes later, the savage comes out. Then another savage went back there. Hearing her being raped, screaming, moaning, begging. Dirty, filthy son of a bitches. Then he hear her gurgling, gagging. Because they're shoving their dicks down her throat. And she's gagging on it. He had to endure that and listen to that shit. And she had to go through that shit. She's going to be traumatized for the rest of her life. So he calls me up. I don't know what to do. I'm still upset. You know, I'm trying to be there for her, but she don't want, she don't want me nowhere near her. Nigga! I wouldn't want your ass near me either if I was a woman, if I was her. You couldn't protect her. That's what they said during these fucking home invasions, man. Whether they've been married or, 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 or they just a couple in a relationship, it don't last. It ain't going to last because you're not going to make it through that trauma. I wouldn't want him near me. You couldn't protect me. You let me be violated because you refused to go out and get a gun. It's more levels to this shit. You can have a million fucking guns. But if they kick in your door and they, they get the drop on you, what the fuck you going to do if you got them all locked up or you got them unloaded? What are you going to do? What's the whole point of it all? Man, this shit got me fucking heated, man. But like I said, I, th I think I'm a little bit more mad, madder at him. I'm more mad at him. Than the fucking savages. Because savages is going to be savages. Savages is going to do what savages do. They rape that woman. Sodomize that woman. Rape the orly. He thinking it was going to be a conventional, traditional home invasion where I guess... They tie them up. You know, you're going to get tied up. And uh, they're going to take your valuables and, hey, we out of here. Nah. Nah, they, they, they robbed them. But that was the afterthought. Them fucking savages, they wanted, they, they, them niggas was horny. And when I say nigga, I mean black, right, and every motherfucking thing in between. But these were some black niggas that did that. They did this. Yeah. Listen, man, I'm telling you, Gun Freak Nation, man. If you out there and you a man, a real man, a grown ass man, and you got your funky town senders, you got them. Hey, give yourself a salute. Give yourself a pat on the back because you know what it is. You know what's happening. I'm tired of hearing about these damn home invasions. And I'm even more tired 
of hearing about people that ain't prepared. That ain't prepped up and ready. You got to send these motherfuckers to funky town. Or else they going to send you there. Man, I wouldn't even know what to do if I was in that situation. I'd be embarrassed and ashamed. How can I call myself a man and I don't let some fucking savages come up in my house and rape my old lady? And I couldn't do a damn thing about it. I'm laying on the floor listening while they got the motherfucking gun to my head. I, I start to say, motherfucker, you lucky they didn't rape your motherfucking ass. I don't know, man. Some people would never get it. Some people was just can't understand or comprehend why you should be able to, you know, protect yourself, man. Some people is programmed, indoctrinated. You know, well, that's what 911 is for. That's what the police is for. Y'all some stupid motherfuckers, man. And, and no disrespect, man, but I, I'm just telling you how I feel. I'm keeping it 100% real. You some stupid clown ass motherfuckers, man. You don't deserve for it to happen, but if you can't fight fucking back, if you can't fight fire with fire, then what the fuck? What you gonna do? You no, know, he used to always say, hey man, I got these. I'm good with these. I can knock a motherfucker out. But when they put that trail gauge to your head, this shit don't mean a damn thing. You basically a slave to them motherfuckers. And you lucky you got out of that situation alive. You and your one. Listen, Gunfree Nation. Listen, um, for those of you who are not armed, man, listen, man. I love y'all. Nobody deserves to be a victim. All right? But you have to love yourself enough to not want to be a victim. You have to love yourself enough to uh, be like, nah, I want to go out and buy me a gun, train with that gun, and if a motherfucker try me, they're going to fuck around and find out because I'm going to send their stacking asses to Funky Town. It's just, that, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. You got to fight fire with fire. When them motherfuckers come in, you can't go grab a fucking knife. You can't go uh, uh, grab a fucking bat. You can't go get a big pot of water in a pot and throw it on them and they're going to run their stinking funky asses out. The only language these stinking ass savages understand is violence. But our violence is righteous violence because it's our God giving right to defend our lives, to protect ourselves. To protect our families, to protect our loved ones. That's what Gun Freak Nation is all about. We just are not a, 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 a bunch of fanatics or freaks who love guns. We love our guns. You can call us gun freaks all you want. I don't give a fuck what, I, what you call me. But I'll tell you one thing when the shit hit the fan, I'm ready. And them same motherfuckers that's talking that shit, but you need all them guns for. Man, nigga, you crazy as hell. You got enough guns for the motherfucking Iron Man. Motherfucker, you gonna be the first one uh, uh, banging my, at my door, uh, uh, you know, begging me to let you in when them savages is on your ass. And I'm gonna be like, nope, nope, nope. It's crazy, man. You got people, what you need that type of guns for all you need? All you need is a uh a, a old school shotgun or revolver or something. All you need is one. What you need with some army shit, motherfucker, because I can have it. This is America. 
And if you got the money and if it's legal, you can buy it. Suck my dick. I don't understand these motherfuckers. What you need an AR-15 for? An AK-47? This ain't Afghanistan. This ain't Vietnam. This ain't Iraq. This ain't Syria. Motherfucker. In some areas, it's worse. And if the funky ass savages got it, the motherfucker I want it or, or something even more better than what they got. Something even more powerful than what they got. I can't stand them type of motherfuckers. What you need that for? That's a weapon of war. Well, motherfucker, we living in a motherfucking war zone where you can't even go to the fucking gas station without worrying about somebody blowing your fucking head off. Let me go on and stop, because I'm getting myself even more upset. I'm telling y'all, God Free Nation, listen. Y'all are blessing to me. I love y'all, man. Don't give a fuck what these anti-gunners say. And a lot of these motherfuckers call themselves 2A. And, you know, and having guns, but they want to calm down on the type of guns we got. Well, you can suck my dick. How about that? You can suck my dick. I don't give a fuck. Whether you don't approve of my guns or not, motherfucker, you ain't bald shit up in here. Keep talking your shit. But the only thing you is running around here, the only thing you running is your motherfucking mouth. I can have whatever the fuck gun I want. Stupid dumb motherfucker. But anyway, y'all, I love y'all, Gun Freak Nation. I appreciate y'all. Salute, man. I didn't mean to, you know, to get stirred up this much. I know it's been a minute. Y'all probably ain't never saw me this stirred up, but they got my homeboy. But my homeboy got himself. When he chose not to uh, 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 buy a firearm, a gun to protect himself. Anyway, God Freak Nation, I love y'all. Uh, uh, listen, y'all, y'all, y'all stay armed. Stay responsible with your firearms. Stay righteous. And be ready to send this whole funky foot, funky ass, doodle stinking ass, funky, filthy, horny, dick hard, ready to shove it up in your ass if he can, savage to funky town. Salute.